Formula's Nigeria PLC visited the Nigerian Stock Exchange to perform its facts behind the figures. In his opening remarks at the event, the CEO of the Nigerian Stock Exchange, Mr. Oscar Onyema, commended the company for coming to the boards to explain its financials. I welcome the management of Flower Mills of Nigeria PLC to this facts behind the figures presentation. We are encouraged that you have come forward to provide the market with more information about the strategic and financial developments within your organization. Flower Mills remains a dominant player in the consumer goods sector of our market as it continues to solidify itself as an innovative brand in this sector. The Group Managing Director of Flower Mills Nigeria PLC Mr. Paul Bededo, in his presentation, gave insight into the operations of the company covering the agro allied and packaging business. FMN today is structured into three main groups. We have the food group, we have the agro allied group of companies, and then we have the support services. Under the food group, you can see the branded consumer goods like flour, golden penny pasta, golden penny noodles, golden penny semovita, golden beaker, rice, sugar, edible oils, snacks, and so on. Of course, you know also that we have intermediate products that we supply your biscuit flour bread flour, noodle flour, confectionery flour, you know, into the market. Then we have Agroala, a group of businesses. On the Agroala, we have fertilizer as an agric uh, input. We do blending and distribution of fertilizer. Then on the Agroala, we cultivate uh, cassava, we cultivate sugarcane, soybean, maize, rice, oil palm. And of course we do uh, processing of these uh, crops. We process cassava flour, I mean cassava into cassava flour. We process sugar cane. We process maize, rice, oil palm. And then we also have animal feeds as processing plants on the agroala businesses. Then we have the support services that I classify as others on which we have a packaging industry, Nigerian bag uh, manufacturing company, which you all know as uh, Baku Supersac. We also have our transport uh, and haulage uh, company uh, that serves as the support uh, infrastructure to both the food and agro-allied businesses. He also stated that the company had been consistent in creating value for shareholders by paying dividend. The PLC has continued to uh, issue uh, uninterrupted uh, dividend payments, and we have been doing that for the past 23 years. I can see the, the uh, growing uh, dividend uh, payout there. If you look at 2010 and look at 2014, it has moved from 3.4 billion to 5 billion. That's about. Okay, sorry. Uh, that's about 45% uh, uh, increase over the last uh, four years. What have we done in uh, further investments? Our capital in the, you know, uh, expenditure you know, in the last uh, year is uh, about 40 billion naira. And if you look at the capex depreciation uh, ratio, it's just about 6%, which is very good. It shows them that um, payback is, uh, is short term. Mr. Bededo also intimated the investment community on the $250 million investment in the sugar refinery, as well as the competition in the business and the backward integration policy driven by the federal government. Now, I said it in my uh, presentation that for such an investment, it's a $250 million US dollar investment. 
you will not expect in the first year. Indeed, we have only run it for nine months. You will not expect in the first year, you know, to make uh, to make profit. What we concentrated on in the first year was to commission the plant. You know, for those who know about uh, sugar refineries, it takes two years to really fully commission a sugar refinery. It's such a huge investment and huge operation. And so the first year was a very difficult year of operation. We couldn't produce, even though the market was available. We, are, we, we had good product, people wanted it. We couldn't just produce enough. That was one, one part of uh, the problem with sugar. The second part of the problem with sugar was that before we came on board last year in sugar, sugar was selling the Nigerian market at 9,000 naira per bag. As soon as we came in, it dropped to 5,500 per bag. <laughs> so, uh, but we are here to stay. We are here to stay. The environment, the competitive environment, you know, uh, made it so. But we are glad in two ways, right? That one, because of our entry into the sugar market, Nigerians are benefited because sugar prices drop from 9,000 to 6,000. That's point number one. Point number two, we are glad that we are there because we are strong enough to stay in that business. And it's a business that will help Nigeria. It's not just uh, local consumption, but also for the sub-region. So we are looking beyond you know, just what we have today. And the fact that the Nigerian government also enacted the sugar master plan, Nigerian Sugar Master Plan, which was launched last year, forcing all sugar refineries in the country, or whoever wants to invest in sugar refinery in Nigeria, to go back to the land. So we are also investing in cultivation and crushing of uh, sugar cane to get the raw sugar, instead of depending uh, wholly, as we have it today, we depend 98% on uh, raw sugar importation. But with time and with this backward integration, it will help the country to be self-sufficient, at least 70% self-sufficient in the next uh, five years. It is expected that Floor Mills Nigeria PLC will retain focus on its core business areas, guaranteeing sustainability.